Hey, welcome to early learners and right brainers and today I'm going to speak about energy circle around your child. So whenever we start with a right brain activity there is something very special called as energy circle. The process is such like uh, you have to tell your child that now rub your hands. Now uh, when you rub your hands you are gathering some good energy between your hands. These hands. Then you tell them that now we are going to create a circle around us. The circle is going to be energy, positive energy, exciting energy, happy energy. Then you again rub your hands. You say that, okay, now we are, I am also going to start up a new circle around me. That's, this is called as energy circle. Now there is a lot of energy between my hands, around me in between my legs and my entire body now we both are in a good energy circle and now our energy circle has enhanced it has become bigger and bigger and bigger and it has covered everything around us now we are going to start with some breathing exercises some blowing exercises some physical activities and now we are just going to begin with our flashcard session so guys this is something like a meditation that you tell your child that there are good energies around you there are good vibes around you and then you tell your child to believe in it and make the entire environment very positive and then start the right brain training energy circles are optional if you believe that all these things don't exist or this is spiritual or this is religious then you can obviously not do it but this is something i had learned about uh, from my research and uh, i always feel that yoga and indian culture or asian culture has always believed in uh, something called as supernatural so when you say or concentrate on the present moment all the energies around you start becoming very positive and if you are making your child aware that okay when you relaxed and when you calm down and when you are just very silent all the good energies are around you what is the problem you are making them believe in something that that is not there this is imagination and this is right brain so i think you guys should also research more about energy circle i think i have shared a document where it was clearly mentioned how you can do it but this is a simpler way that i feel that worked with me so you can also try it for yourself today's session is very small because energy circles is something very creative that you can go about it is like you create energy and you tell your child that the energy is there and you tell him to believe in such uh, energies and then you make him sit peacefully ask him to do some deep breathing exercises and then begin with your right brain session this energy circle really works with guys or babies who are three plus or four plus for small babies we can make them sit on our lap on our lap then rotate their uh, small small hands say that the energy circle is created then make that energy touch their face touch their body you can innovate the way you want but mainly the energy circle really w should work very well with the babies who are three years old okay that's it guys from my side do like and subscribe and comment on my uh, facebook and uh, instagram and youtube channel day by day i'm trying to uh, incorporate uh, good videos and good audios and i hope this is working out and thanks a lot for motivating me if you guys like and comment and subscribe only then i can feel motivated so thanks a lot each and every one of you uh, we will start our right brain activity journey again with a new topic tomorrow thanks a lot thank you very very much hi this is shraddha from early learners and right brainers today we are going to speak about a very important topic and that is energy ball uh, i have discussed about energy circle now i'm going to say about energy ball now what do we do in an energy ball uh, consider uh, that you are rubbing your child's uh, hands or if your child is little bigger you show him how to rub uh, his hands so you also do uh, the rubbing of your hands then you create a small uh, ball like you just say that okay now we are going to collect all the good energy and now we are going to collect more and more and more good energy and then this circle is created now the circle or the ball is going to 
protect us and we have to be grateful for all the good things that we are getting in our life and now this energy ball is around us now again you tell your child to rub their hands and just tell him that now we create another small ball and now we are going to eat this ball and this ball is going to make you more strong see this is when you come to right brain it is all superficial it is all science it has been uh, proved and confirmed but it is all illogical it is like your creativity and imagination i would just like to show you how to do it uh, i will try if my baby cooperates i'll also use him as a prop <laughs> to show you how to do but for now i'll just show how a parent should do okay so it won't have any uh, sound it will just have action so let us do it one second sound will be less but let's do it energy ball rub your hands now create a small energy ball gather all energy gather all good energy thank you 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 now baby this is an energy ball now this ball is going to protect us now this ball is going to protect you now this ball is going to protect you again rub your hands rub your hands rub your hands and let's create a small ball how do we create we will take some energy 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 and the ball is created now you're going to eat it hmm how is the energy ball very very tasty yes this energy ball is going to be with you and give you more energy this is going to make you more strong that's it uh now i'm not sure if you could hear me but i created a energy ball i gathered all the energy from the universe and i said wow thank you for the good energy and then i just uh, had a ball and uh, i just presume that the ball is uh, covering my entire body then i again create an another ball and just had that as a food item and uh, convinced my child that it is going to give him lot of energy so this is something you can do on a regular basis or whenever it is possible this is generally done in rb schools as a starting point so that this creates a very calming effect on the child and the child feels grateful and this is basically to put them put them in a gratitude uh, mindset and also to feel that everything is energy and energy can neither be created nor destroyed so these all concepts are something we all know but how to make them creatively available or creatively considered is done in these rb schools so we can also start these things at our home till the time we find a uh, rb school for our child in india i think there are none and there are a lot of courses available some courses will have this some courses will not have it so just take it what you can get and just try to incorporate everything and try to do it with your child the more you do all these things the easier it will become for you to handle the tantrums so that's it for today uh, do like and subscribe and always comment uh, be active on the facebook group so that you get the latest post if you comment uh, it helps you to get all the feeds from facebook and you will not miss a uh, important session like that uh, we had on 8th of may 2021 with the hegru academy themselves because it's very rare to get such opportunities so if at all i get lucky and i get any such seminars i always try to make it a point that the entire group should be able to use it so just be active on the group one small comment like thank you or good not just encourages me but also benefits you thanks a lot bye bye